Give this conference will now be recorded. Um, I call to order the Senior Activity Center Commission meeting for May 17th to order. Um, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, with liberty and justice for all. Um, we want everybody in attendance to state their name. Uh, Emily Rendell Araujo, Director of Senior Services. Stephanie Gex. Keith Gex. Sue Garski. Um, well, we acknowledge that we do not have quorum today. <laughs> um, so we will have to table everything on the agenda that did require a vote. Um, our next meeting will be July 19th um, at the Senior at Upcom Social at 8 a.m. in the Creative Studio. Any for the good of the order? Does anyone have any questions about the statistics I sent over? I forgot to print copies of my own stuff. Okay. But did anybody? Did everybody? <laughs> Um, we, for anyone watching, we had a, we opened up online reg or in person registration for our trips today. So it's been even though it's 8 a.m., it's been a wild morning already. I apologize for not printing these in advance. But basically, um, one thing we've started doing since we opened the new building is having a monthly dashboard of attendance and numbers. Um, and then I just started with a six month uh, document too, so we can see how we're trending. So I think it's worth noting. Um, we know that our active membership has continued to grow. We're just shy of 1,250 members right now. I know it's just wild. Um, but I also think unique visitors are interesting, too, that we're over 600 unique visitors that we're seeing in a month. So that's unduplicated clients, 600 plus individual people coming in. Mm -hmm. um, but also our average daily attendance keeps going up. So I think in April, it was just over 215 a day. Um, and of note, at the old building, the average was 150. So we have a lot more people participating, but we also have a lot more people actually coming. That's a question I get somewhat regularly is okay, great, do people sign up and then you just never see them again? But we actually see a lot of people. So, any questions on that? Oh, yeah. okay. It's really nice to see you. Yeah, I think yeah. flex and stretch was a week for yesterday too. Josh texted me so I could come in and take a picture. <laughs> well, that's that's one that when the gym's done, I think that class will move into the gym so we can accommodate more people. Yeah. Do we know when? Um, no change there. It's uh, it'll construction should start this fall. It should. Mm -hmm. It's a fundraising. Going to be good, huh? Yeah, you know, of what the friends are planning on doing is um, taking all the loans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we do have, I guess it's public now, but we are working on full disclosure. I hate brat fry fundraisers. However, we're going to do a brat fry in August on a Saturday okay. as a fundraiser, but also. We know that there are a lot of people in the community that are intrigued by this building and this organization, but work a day job, so can't really don't have an opportunity to come see it during the day. So we're going to do almost like another open house type thing on a Saturday in August, so people who want to see the building, but out front. Yep, overflow parking somewhere. But well, people like it. drive through, yeah. and like volunteers on the inside, ready to give tours. Yeah, it should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. Is anything with the livability? I haven't scheduled the next meeting. Um, you two are both on my list. So what we talked about, what Rich Meisel and I, for those wondering, um, Sue pointed at the livability plan. Uh, we had a kickoff meeting in April, and what Rich uh, Miesfeld and I agreed based on that meeting is what we'd like to do is have an act, an acting committee, like an, a working committee of maybe eight to ten people, 
and then a larger advisory committee. So I think many of the people that were in attendance at the April meeting would be invited to be part of that advisory committee that meets once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm working on reaching out to the folks to make to make up the acting committee, which both of you are. Okay. Yeah, and so we, that group would be the ones doing the work, sending out the surveys, scheduling events, that sort of thing. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Then I call the meeting to a close at eight oh nine. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.